coach is Eric Henderson. Zeke Mayo, Luke Apple, and William Kyle III represent the student body. We're going to ask Coach Henderson to start off with a statement on the game that's just finished. Then we'll go to questions for all four of the Jackrabbits on the dais. Eric, please. Yeah, well, obviously, congrats to Iowa State, um, TJ, and, and the squad. They, they played great, and so you got to tip the cap. And, and uh, this is always tough, you know, when, when it ends like this. And our guys, I'm just so proud of the fight that we had and the compete that we had. Um, they, they never they never succumbed to, to their pressure, you know, and, and um, it's really hard to simulate when you're preparing for it, but the way our guys handled it, um, the way they handled themselves, I'm so proud of them. Thank you. Questions? Start here, and number two will be on the aisle. Thank you. Andrew Holton, Brookings Register. Zeke, uh, you guys got off to a little bit of a slow start there. I know we talked about their defense and the pressure and that all week. Um, but was it a little surprising once you got out on the court? I mean, yeah, it's just something that, like Coach said, you can't really simulate something like that. I mean, they fly to the ball like something we haven't seen all season. So, um, I mean, credit to them. They played fantastic on the defensive end. And, um, I, mean, it, I mean, it speaks for itself. They're, they're a 2 C. They came out and they played how they have been. And, they showed up um, early in that game. And I mean, we fought back. We fought really hard. So I'm proud of our guys for doing that. But I mean, yeah, they're, they're a tough team. Luke, uh, a lot of times in this situation, you know, you'd be looked back and saying, I wish we'd done this, we wish we'd done that. Is this a game where you kind of look at it and go, that other team was really good? I mean, as well as they played, that there maybe aren't going to be a lot of regrets. You just got beat by a really good basketball team. I mean, yeah, they are really good, but being down four in the second half after being down 15 to three is uh, just a credit to our teammates and how well we stay together. So, I mean, I'd say we had a chance. Um, they made a lot of shots tonight and credit to them. They played great, just like Z said. And there's a reason they're not ranked number four in the country and number one defense in the country. So um, they made everything really hard on all of us. Um, and it was just a tough game. I mean, all credit to them. Jonathan Fernandez, Argus leader. Um, Obviously not the way you guys wanted the season to end, but when you guys kind of reflect on the season and how much you guys improved, especially mid-season defensively, then the run you guys had through the Summit League and obviously qualifying for the tournament here, uh, just how will you guys reflect on this season? We're going to ask William to start off and then Eric, you chirp in. Uh, I would definitely say uh, we made a, a, a lot of jumps in just uh, being connected on the court. Uh, I feel like there was times at the start of the season where maybe you could tell that the ball wasn't moving as much. I feel like uh, now we became connected uh, all around, and I feel like the ball started moving a lot, and I feel like it also transitioned into our defensive end of the floor, which uh, really helped us in our run uh, in the Summer League tournament. So I feel like we made a lot of jumps, and I feel like we also really loved on each other, uh, which kind of helped us uh, winning in the postseason. That's a great answer. I mean, <laughs> I think it's a testament to togetherness, like Will said. Um, I think the belief in each other continued to grow throughout the season. Um, we shared the basketball, like Will said, um, you know, way better the second half of the season than we did the first. And our guys just honestly, did, like, like Will said, they just loved each other. And uh, when you do that, good things can happen. Tanner Castor, a question for you, Luke. You've been in the program now for quite some time, and that was your last time walking off the court in this jersey. What was that like for you? It's hard. Um, you, have, you get to play in front of the best fans in the country, in my opinion. Um, they love on you when you're ups and downs. And, you know, I came here to win a lot of games, and we did that. Um, I've won, I won two, we won. Our teams won two Summit League championships, and I don't think I could ask for anything more. Um, and I had the best time I ever could up here. And I, I left it all out there tonight. And I mean, that's just how it ended up. And you just look at our other seniors, like Charlie and Mims, and those are my brothers for life, and Zeke and Will. Um, I'll remember this team forever. And I don't think there's any regrets or anything. Everything just was meant to be. And we won the Summit League championship. That was our goal. And we just fell short today. Hendo, now that you've co uh, been the head coach in two tournament games, uh, is there anything that you could pinpoint that would maybe help the program get over the hump and, and get that first tournament win? I 
I mean, I, I, I think <laughs> that, that's, a, that's an interesting question. Um, I, I love our guys, and um, I think a lot of things happen for reasons. And our guys, our guys came together. And I've said this a long time. I say this quite often. I feel like we're going to win every game we play. And so that's not going to change, whether that's in the NCAA tournament, that's in the Summit League Championship, or that's the first game of the year when we opened up with Akron. Like I said, it doesn't always happen. Um, but but that's what we believe. And, and um, we, we've, we've had some great teams here, and we've, we've uh, battled in the NCAA tournament. We battled tonight. A couple things, you, you know, here and there, it's, it's not like we were just completely out of it. And they played great. Um, I just kind of worry about things that we can control. And we played really, really hard tonight. We competed our tails off. And there's a lot of different ways to measure success. And obviously winning, if I don't win, I'm probably going to get fired. I respect <laughs> that. But, but there's a lot of ways to you know, you know, measure success. I wouldn't trade this group for any just because we lost in the NCAA tournament. I was going to kind of ask the same question Andrew did. So playing off your answer, um, what will be going forward, kind of the next challenges, the next things this team looks forward to, if it's not necessarily just, you know, we're trying to win this many games or win this many tournaments? So, so how will you go forward from this? Well, I think it's pretty simple. We'll recruit really, really awesome dudes that have great character, that play their tail off, that love each other. And we're going to go try to win every game we play. Randy, on the right, on the left here. Thanks, Joe. Hendo, when when Iowa State's got it going like like it had it going in the first half, can they be beat? And if so, how do how do you stop them? Not you, anybody. Yeah, um, I, I really when I was preparing for these guys, Randy, I looked at these guys like I, I watch a lot of basketball. These guys can win a national championship, and they, they've we, we scrimmaged TJ and Iowa State the before he ever played a game. And so his defensive principles were, and some of these guys were on that squad, and um, he, he was just implementing those principles. And, and they play so hard, and they're so good on the defensive end. But what makes them have a chance to win the national championship, and things have to go their way, is their offense. The way they move, the way that they're connected, and the way that they know what they're really good at is special. I said before this, before the tournament started, I, I hope TJ wins the national championship. And then I saw the pairings, and I was hoping that he'd lose in the first round. Now I hope he wins the national championship again. You know, to go along with that, especially when Milan has it going like that. I mean, what do you think about him as a true freshman playing his first NCAA tournament? I mean, he was pretty impressive. Like, he has great poise like you said for, for him playing in the first um, NCAA tournament the poise that he had the patience that he had the size that he has the touch that he has like that that Dirk shot is like kind of unguardable you know you have to double team him get him out get it out of his hands and just not let him shoot it because it felt like they, they all went in and um, but but I mean that 23 assists tonight I mean Taman Taman is the head of that snake and and how he how he makes that team go is pretty special. Anything else for the Jackrabbits? Gentlemen, thank you very much, and best of luck for you.